Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about layering or sometimes double dipping hydrographics. And so uh, if you haven't already, we've got another video out that is double dipping and that's whenever we're taking and we are putting the same pattern on a part but we are taping off half of it dipping one side and then taping up the other side and then of course dipping the opposite so then that way the two dips come together they overlap anyways so that's one of the double dipping and so what we're going to talk about today is going to be layering or double dipping as well but in two different patterns and so what we've got here is is that we've got two different patterns that we're going to be dipping so we've got one carbon fiber right here which is our 282 um, and then we've also got a death by roses um, or death by rose um, film that we have here now the one thing that you definitely want to make sure of is is that you plan this out because not every film can be dipped over another film and it come out looking correct and so just to kind of give you a quick little recap of what we're going to be doing is, is that we've got our speed shape already painted silver and so once we dip the speed shape in the carbon fiber this is pretty much how it's going to look we're going to have a silver and black carbon over the top of it and you can kind of come in here and see that's exactly how that's going to look of course except all the way around the speed shape now the kicker is, is that we're going to take this film right here and we're going to lay it over it now the one thing that you definitely want to make sure of is that this film right here has a lot of area that is very transparent and so if i was to lay this out on the table right here you can see that all of this is really transparent which is really great because that's what we want and so what we're going to actually do is we're going to dip this we're going to dip this one first rinse it off dry it off completely ready to go that's whenever we normally would have clear coated it but we're going to take it one step further and dip it again in this film and so then whenever we get done with it it should look something similar to this right here to where inside these areas right here it will have the carbon fiber that's already in there now I know it may have a glare we'll try to move this back over like that that might be a little bit easier to see but anyways what you're gonna find is, is that inside all of these areas that are clear the carbon and the silver will show through which is exactly what we want so a little bit more of an advanced technique uh, does take a little bit more time to do but it definitely gives you a fully one-off custom print that is of course double dip now the kicker to that is that if one dip goes bad or the other dip goes bad you have to redo the entire thing over again so definitely want to make sure that you get all of your activator and all of your dip and everything completely correct from the first dip to the second dip because of course you don't want to be redoing it over again so let's go ahead let's get this film in the water and let's get the first dip going here we go all right so we'll lay this down in the water set the film for the standard time that we need to in this case we're going to have one minute on the water at 80 to 90 seconds again Every film is going to be different, so definitely check with your supplier or check wherever you bought it at to make sure that you lay it down for the right amount of time. So we'll pull our dividers in, get ready to spray the activator here in about 40 seconds or so. All right, so we got our Liquid Concepts activator. We'll spray one pass across it. And so we'll make sure that we have a nice, smooth, glassed out surface, which is exactly what we have right there. So now we can get ready to go ahead and dip this. So again, we've got our painted part right here, and we'll go ahead and just dip this down in. Now that we've got that all dipped, now we're going to rinse this off and completely dry it off. So let's put it in the rinse station, get it all rinsed off, dry it off, and then show you guys what we need to do next. All right, so we've got everything already dipped. We've got it all rinsed off. 
now let's show you guys what we've got so far. So of course, we've got the part right here. Now again, this is the time, if you need to, go ahead and do any touch-ups, do anything like that on the first dip. For this case right here, just for the video purposes, we're just gonna go ahead and dip this the way it is, but you would normally want to go ahead and start doing any touch-ups at this point. Once you got all your touch-ups done, now we can move on to the second dip. And so what we're gonna do here now is, is that we have not clear coated it. That is the main key thing to remember is that you do not clear coat this at all. Not yet anyway. So we've already got it dipped and then now we're going to go ahead and dip it again. So um, we've got all the PVA rinsed off of it. Definitely want to make sure that you have all of that rinse off because if you don't then whenever you go to dip this and then you go to rinse it the second time it's going to pretty much just run off the part because the extra PVA that was on there, it's going to come off with it. And so um, definitely make sure that you have your part really rinsed good and of course very dry because you want to make sure that of course it is completely dry all the way around the area that you're trying to dip to so that way the second dip will still adhere perfectly to the first dip. So we're going to take this and then dip this over it and then now you can even see a little bit better here how this is going to look after it's all said and done. So this will look really cool. It'll have a nice carbon fiber effect underneath or in the skulls which gives it a fully one-off look. So let's go ahead, we'll get this film on the water and get it dipped. So again, we'll lay this down in the water We'll set our timer for one minute at 80 to 90 degrees. And then we'll let this film hydrate. Once it's hydrated, then we'll come back in and we'll lay our dividers back down. And then now we'll get ready to spray our activator and then dip it for the second time. All right, so one minute timer went off. Let's go ahead and get this sprayed. All right, so we've got our part right here. We'll make sure that everything is glassed out. This is definitely really critical because you want to make sure that everything is completely glassed out and ready to go before you dip it. So that way everything sticks and bonds correctly into the second dip. So it looks like everything is. And there you have it. That is a dip on another dip. And so of course, if you wanted to even make this uh, even better, you could take this right here, spray a nice candy over the top of it, turn it into a green or blue or yellow or red or something like that. Really make it pop and stand out. But you can clearly see the carbon is definitely coming through the part itself. And this is definitely the reason why you want to make sure that the second film that you're dipping always has a lot of clear area so then that way the first dip that you dipped before will come back and show through. So at this point right here, we can go ahead, we can start to rinse this off, we'll dry it off, and then from there we can take and do any touch-ups that are needed, clear coat it, and then now the customer has a fully one-off custom part. So, let's get that started. Alright, so we've got everything all finished up. Now, as you probably saw, we went ahead and we sprayed a blue candy over everything. And so, just kind of wanted to give it something a little bit different. Now, it did make everything a lot darker, so definitely want to make sure that whenever you're spraying your candy or whichever, you need to take that into consideration. So, um, it did make the second dip look a little bit less pronounced than what it did with the original silver on it. But we want to we want to we wanted to go ahead and show you guys what the end result would look like with the candy over it. So then that way you can see all the different layers and also see what all it looks like after it's all said and done. 
personally, I think it came out really good. Um, now, would this be my complete cup of tea? Probably not, but it definitely shows the ability to be able to use this and still be able to dip multiple things and have a completely different outcome where you could maybe have a film that has zombies on it and it you have carbon fiber and so then the carbon fiber is uh, underneath and you have zombies over the top or something like that but it gives you a good foundation so then that way whenever you're talking to your customers or you're doing anything like that you can really think outside the box and you can really make something very unique and custom as if it wasn't already enough unique with just the hydrographics alone. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related. Also, if you haven't already, um, definitely check out the website. We have a lot of other training videos there that can really help you guys out, as well as we also offer in-house training. We also offer on-site training, as well as online training, so that way you have the complete array of hydrographics training to suit your needs. If you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks for anything hydrographics related. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.